Hi, welcome to NetView CCTV. A quick demonstration of how to uh, terminate and crimp a Cat 5e cable uh, using uh, crimps and load bars. Load bars make it very, very easy to push the cable into the crimp, uh, ready for crimping. Uh, and makes the whole process very very easy. Once you start using this uh, you won't want to, uh, to go back to just trying to push the cable in hoping it's uh, going to go in the correct holes. Um, right, the the crimps actually these specific crimps are manufactured by uh, AMP they're very high quality, very good quality, uh, professional grade Uh, crimps with the load bar. Each crimp comes with uh, with a load bar included. They come in packs of 100. You can see that quantity 100. Uh, and each one of these packs, you will receive a pack of load bars, 100 load bars with it. So that's uh, a full. When you buy crimps, you get that uh, both. You get both of them together. All right. So we have our Cat 5e cable. This Cat 5e is solid copper, um, exterior grade, uh, so it's, it's uh, reasonably thick. Um, first things first, we mustn't forget to boot our uh, strain relief boot on because if the cable is on a reel, you're never going to get this on uh, once it's crimped. Right, slide slide the boot on, and then we can pull that back up. Uh, at a later stage. Uh, we're going to strip back the sheathing. I just use a, a sta standard uh, rotary stripper which is fine tuned and set to just cut the outer sheath and not to touch the inner pairs. So you must be careful not to damage the inner pairs uh, inside the sheathing, there we go, that pulled off quite easy. As you see, there's no damage whatsoever to the pairs and even the sheath, there's a protective sheathing uh, around the pairs, uh, even that's still intact. So I'm just gonna pull that off. As this is exterior grade, it has uh, extra extra protection there, moisture protection. Uh, secondly, I'm just gonna cut uh, uh, this, um, a drawstring off as it gets in the way don't need that so that goes right we've got our four pairs now uh, we're just gonna untwist them to make it easy make life easy for us there we go each pair we've got the blue and green Got uh, orange and white, and orange and orange white, and also the green and green white. There we go. We've got our four pairs now. We're just going to put them in uh, a standard straight through uh, method, um, and the color code for that is firstly orange white. Secondly, orange, and as you see, I keep pulling out the cable while I'm doing this to straighten it out so it doesn't cross over um, at a later stage. So I've got orange, orange, white, orange. Um, next is white, green, or green, white, white, green. Then blue. white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. There you go. So now I'll put them in order. Yeah, you can see that. So now I'm just gonna put them, keep them in that order. You see, I'm just gonna stretch them a little. wiggle them around a bit just to straighten them all out and keep them in that specific order. There we go. 
Yeah, and it should stay like that. Just check, uh, just keep checking your order therein, making sure that none have crossed over. Orange, white, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Yep, yeah, still like that. Next, we're just to cut. At the moment, we're just going to cut about half of uh, our uh, pairs off just to give us a straight line to push our load bar onto. There you go. So, yep, yeah, still in the correct order. Double check and I'm going to get the load bar. put that inside and just push it through there we go and that was pretty easy once that's on the pairs are not gonna move they're not gonna cross over as they're flat and this camera doesn't seem to focus very well but whether we can see that there we go so once we push uh, the load bar load bar in then I'm going to cut uh, again the end of the cable, straighten the cable out, cut that in a straight line parallel to the load bar and leave probably what about uh, less than 5mm, 4mm, 5mm sticking out from the front. There you go. Got our crimp, put that in and that will just slide into place there we go brilliant nothing not nothing else to it if you look uh, to check you can actually check on the end uh, if you look carefully you'll see the copper showing on the ends to make sure it's pushed in uh, the cable is pushed in uh, right inside so when it's when we crimp uh, it's secured uh, via this uh, uh, connector there, just the uh, secure for to secure it. So we're going to push that right in, get our crimps. I'm going to see that I'm going to push that into my crimp and just give it a tight squeeze. There we go pull that out and that will be very very secure yeah there we go and then all we've got to do is push our strain relief boot over and we have one fully crimped uh, cut 5e cable exterior grade solid copper using uh, amp crimps specifically made for solid copper cable with uh, load bars hope that was useful you can buy uh, both of these the load bars they come together as a pack uh, crimp and load bars pack of 100 uh, on netviewcctv.co.uk uh, or on our ebay shop NetView CCTV. I hope this has uh, been useful for you. Uh, any questions, just let me know, uh, and I'll try to answer as many of you as I can. Bye.